Whoever said Las Vegas was the city of sin, I think they're trying a little too hard. <laughs> Let's talk heroes. Why are they so important to our way of life? It's pretty apparent that superheroes are all the rage right now with all the superhero movies. There's Wonder Woman coming out, the Justice League. For myself, yeah, I do enjoy looking up to heroes, but they're my heroes for a certain reason. At one point, we were all kids who had heroes that we look up to. I wanted to be someone who was powerful. I wanted to be someone who was kind to other people, but also had a little bit more depth to them. For Bruce Lee, he was mostly iconic for his prowess with martial arts. It was also philosophy. Beyond that, it was also his character type. In his movies, he was always really modest when it came down to really talking to girls in particular. He wasn't very smooth at it, and I think that's something that we all can relate to. So I'm making a stop over here at Brooklyn Bowl because a uh, number of reasons. This was actually the place where I had a really cool experience and a ton of great memories uh, going to the church's concert. But not only was it a ch church's concert, it was also a time where I got to spend time with my Valentine, which is why I brought him here. We we're talking about heroes. For myself, I want to be that guy who is a little bit cheesy but is one that's true to myself a lot of times they didn't discuss why things are a little bit difficult where things are awkward and they're just trying to get by and show their affection being a little bit romantic a little bit cheesy is just touching back to something that means something down here I think it's a good thing, but also a bad thing, depending on what you're doing. That there's always some kind of music playing out on the strip. But for here, it's silence. Yeah. No matter how you look at it, I think it's pretty universal that everyone wants to be their own hero of their story. Now, as far as whether or not you find the line between romantic and cutesy versus kind of weird and borderline creeper status when you're showing your affection it's good to know that you have friends to rely on to give you a second opinion that particular friend is also a mutual friend with my personal valentine basically I had this grand idea where I'd make some kind of 8-bit um, side-scroller type of adventure game thing that you could put on a magnetic surface and it'd be really cute and it'd be something useful that they could uh, decorate their room with and the catch was my Valentine had moved and changed the address so I pumped the brakes and I didn't do it. My alternative to coming up with the 8-bit side-scroller magnet decorative gift, I made a video. Going through all the different memories, all the different things that we wanted to do on our dates and future dates, that's kind of what I'm chronicling. That was pretty neat. Like, who would expect the, this random middle of the morning art gallery? That was pretty neat. Still discovering new things in Vegas. 
however it'll turn out, whether it be in my favor or not, I think me putting myself out there and giving it my all and being honest with myself is what really matters. And for that person, I hope they know that I truly do care about them and I'm willing to give it my all. I think what's important is that we keep trying. If it came easy, then it wouldn't be worth it in the long run. After all, they're the person you want to share your whole life with. Oh, it's going. SpongeBob, you're late for work. Ooh, Penny.